We are going to be learning how to create conditional access policies in this video. In my previous video, I'll actually show you how to plan for this policy. But right now, we are going to we are going to be putting this conditional access policy into effect. So what you are going to be doing is the following. So let's say you want to actually, you want to you want to block your users from signing in to any specific country. For example, let's choose India or Ghana. Let's say you don't want your users to actually log in to india because you believe there is a lot of crime rates a crime or maybe some hackers are actually trying to gain access to your device from india or from ghana so you want to block any access to your office 365 environment from that location so what we need to do is the following first of all to be able to configure um, conditional access policy you need the following prerequisites one you want to have a working azure active directory tenant which of course you need an azure active directory premium p1 license or p2 license or you can actually create a trial account and then two you want to actually have an account with a conditional access administrator or if you are a global administrator just like and right now i'm I'm a member of the global administrator because I created this, this free tenant. So you should be able to create conditional access policy. And also, we also need a non-admin account, which of course we're going to use that to test our conditional access policy we're going to be created. And also, you also need a group. And please do not include your administrator account in that group because you may lock yourself out. So we're going to need a group, which of course is going to contain the test user we uh, we just created so what i do before now is the following i created a group already um, called um, block india here you can see um, in my group i only have four members so we're going to be using one of these members to actually log on to uh, um, office 365 environment and see if we get blocked so right now and also if i go to conditional access so i want to actually create first of all create a named location for example, I'm going to call it my location. Let me just search for India. And then I'm going to call this, let me just call this block India. And then we're going to create the location. And then right now we're going to go to policies and here we can decide to create our new policy. First of all, you want to give your policy a name. I'm going to call this block access India and then we want to select a specific group that's a group we created so I'm going to go to users and groups and then we're going to just search for block here is our group then we can now create select click select and then we want to actually block all apps or cloud apps and you can, you can see it says you should be careful that you are not included in that group so you don't lock yourself out so which means that when anyone tries to assess um, the Office 365 apps from India, it will be blocked. And the conditional access is going to be the following. Uh, you can see, here yeah, you can see location. And it's not configured. I want to say yes, not all location, but to the selected location, you can see we have the location group we created. I'm going to block India and then click select. And what we are going to do is the following access control. We want to actually make sure, for example, if you want to grant access to that location, you can say, okay, any user that is actually trying to ass sign into my office 365 environment, that user should be should require multi-factor authentication. But at this moment, I want to actually block anyone that tried to sign in from that location. I'm going to select, click select, and then you can see we can now enable the policy by clicking report only on or we can off it so report only is going to actually give send you a notification that someone trying to log on from that from that area but it's not going to deny those user that access so let's just create the you can see it says create so we just created it right now and the policy has been successfully created so we want to do the following so right now i'm going to go i have a vpn here so at this moment you can see that our vpn is now connected to india so you can see i live in belgium and that's our connection our connection to india mumbai so let's say um the user the following user um andre um Aberg andres tried to actually connect from india and when he tried to log on from india let's try to sign in with his account let me just enter his password and i click sign in I click yes 
you can see that it says you cannot assess the, this right now. Your signing in was successful, but does not meet the criteria to assess these resources. For example, you might be signing in from a browser app or location that is restricted by your admin. So let's try to go do the following. Let me go back again to a specific user's account who may be able to sign in. Let me just choose a random user. So if I choose this for the following user, let me choose this user. Let me reset the user's password for now. And let me just reset the user's password and then so I'm going to reset the user's password and let's try to log on with this specific user and see if we are able to log on or not. So let me reset the user's password and then we're going to select this user's account. So let me try to sign in with this user. So if I go back again and um, I try to let me just close do a refresh. So let me try to use this account and paste. So let's try to sign in with this account. And mind you, we are still actually connected to India because this user is not in the security group. So when I click sign in, I should be able to actually sign in without any issue. So right now you can see that I'm able to actually sign in, but the issue is the following because here you here we go you can see i'm able to actually sign into the account so i'm able to sign to that account without receiving any error message but i've already configured a multi-factor authenticator for all my users in the organization so which means that this user will be able to sign in because the user does not belong to the group to the security group i created that which of course i created a conditional access that block this user from signing in to India. So what we can actually do is the following. We can actually do that the same thing for all for different countries. For example, you can say, okay, if the if you want to allow the user to log on from that country, the user should or should actually configure a multi-factor authenticator.